Namaste. My name is Saul David Ray, and thank you for this opportunity to share with you. I wanted to speak today about what I call the bowl that everything sits within. In the, the yogic tradition, all of the uh, concept of what yoga is, the expression, the experience, is based on one very important concept, dharma. Dharma means the universal law or truth, the underlying energy that is the basis of existence. From the, word, the root word dri, which means to hold up or to support, to hold together. In the Sanatana Dharma, which is the original name of the Hindu tradition, I want you to know they had no missionaries. There was no need to convert anyone because in this time, they saw all paths as sacred paths. They understood that every master, every teacher is a saint. That is, every saint is honored as a master in their tradition because they understood the oneness, the unity of all things. And so the idea of dharma is actually in every major religion, every spiritual path, the idea of a truth, a law. But of course, it's interpreted in different ways. So we also give another understanding in, uh, in the yogic teachings, swa dharma, which swa means the self, relating to oneself, your own experience of that truth. Dharma is whatever we do that supports the oneness, the health, the happiness of all beings. Swa dharma is your own personal truth, your own law, that governs you, what are you here to do in this life? So, so much of yoga, so much of Tantra is to, in our life journey, experience what is my truth? How can I align my energy with that bigger force of love to serve others? But of course, not only doing that, it's also serving myself, meaning that I have a responsibility to my own happiness, to sharing my gifts. The ancients believed that none of us are here by accident, that we're all here for a very sacred purpose or reason, to get in touch with who we are, to learn about ourselves, and that ultimately each one of us has a gift to share. If we look with little children, because they're very pure, we can see very easily. We can see their light. We can see how unique they are. But as we grow, as we take on more ego conditionings, more cultural conditionings, we're expected to behave a certain way or be a certain way. Find your gift. Let your yoga practice support you in your sacred path. You are here to share your gift with everyone and to support the bigger unfolding of peace, of love, of consciousness on our planet. Namaste.